Hey, what's up, YouTube? Kevin Rocket here. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be reviewing the updated version of Komodo Internet Security Premium. Last night, I did the version 4.1, I believe. This is version uh, 5.0.31556.1134. Uh, I posted my video up last night, and somebody told me. I can't remember his name, sorry, but... Uh, he told me that there was an updated version, so I went to uh, Komodo.com instead of getting it from CNET. So here it is. Let's start installing. Uh, this interface is a lot better, and I'll be testing it against Lynx again today, like I did last night with the old version. And I'll see how it did. Hopefully it's updated. I'm going to actually pause the video while this is finishing because I don't want to waste all the video time, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Um, let's see, actually... Never mind, it's actually done. If you guys ever have any requests on any uh, antiviruses or anything like that that you'd like me to review or test against malware links, just uh, send me a private message or comment on the video and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I check my uh, YouTube every day unless I'm away on vacation or something like that. But yeah, basically just tell me if you want something reviewed and I'll try to get it for you and review it. I'm actually going to pause the video. I'll be back in a few minutes. Alrighty, I'm back. And we just got a free lifetime license activated on the Komodo License Center. Finish, finish. And you have to restart. And I'll restart and be right back. Okay, I'm back from the install. And this is what I get on startup. Uh, this is my network. Okay, you allow that. This is a I believe this is, yeah, this is my program for the virtual machine, so I'm going to click Allow. And let's see. As you can see, the uh, interface is a lot better than the old one. Um, but I'll, I'll see how uh, good it does whenever I test it. Let's see, update the uh, virus definitions. This is probably going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause to save time. Because uh, we only have 15 minutes, which is kind of stupid, I think. It should be longer, but... Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, here we are. We're back, and the update just finished, so let's get started. Uh, yeah, basically the interface is a little better. As you can see, it's like a black edition sort of thing. And the icon is different than the old one. Okay, I'm actually going to pause the video one more time, and I'm going to get some links for us to test. So, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back, and I got 10 most URLs, and let's take a look and see how they do. First, we got a Zeus Trojan, I believe. Um... Don't know. Yeah, it's a, uh, I believe it's a dead link if it's directing me to Windows. So, let's see, we got a Neosploit. And it's not available.
Once again, this file is not going to work because it's a PDF and I don't have Adobe on this computer, so I think we're going to need three more links. Let's try this Trojan. Hopefully this will work. And let's reboot this. I think that exploit. And right here we got the cloud scanner alert. A malicious item has been detected. And if we clean it, should be fine. Application isolated. If we run it, it won't run. One for one. See, I believe we're on this one. That's dead. That's dead. This one should work since it's a fake AV. Yep. Application isolated. If we run it, it's trying to access the Internet Defense Plus alert. It's asking us. It's not a recognized program. It could access. It could or it is about to access the protected. And then the interface of Shell dot Explorer two. So block. We'll block that. And let's try this. TDSS downloader. That's dead. Dead. And that one's also dead, so get rid of all the dead ones. See, this one was dead. Right here, this is that exe file. The um, That was that uh, fake antivirus it was trying to run, but it's in the sandbox, so it's not going to be able to run. Let's see, these two are dead. That one was good. Wait, this one was actually dead. This one was good. These ones were dead. That one was good. Dead. And then the rest are dead. So then we're two for two right now. And now I need to go find us eight more links. So I'll be back in like five minutes. Alrighty, I'm back. I got uh, seven more links for us. And let's check and see how it does for the rest. So far it's done good. Block two. Uh, of course, dead. And it's in the sandbox automatically. Which basically means it can't run. Let's just check to make sure. And everything looks fine to me. Yeah, okay, let's go. Next one after this. I don't know what these are, I just picked them random. Dead. Trying to get zero day links, but there's not too many for today's. Automatically, backdoor win 32, it's poison ivy. Um, I'm not sure what this does. I believe it's in an info stiller or something like that. I had uh, a key generator on my computer for something, and 
it considers that as a back door, so maybe that's just what that is or something like that. So clean that and should be good to go. Let's see, I'm not sure what this is. It may be a fake AV or, and it doesn't really matter because it's dead. This is a exploit, but it's not going to work because it's also dead. A lot of times whenever uh, people see these links up here, they're going to get them shut down right away. Somebody actually downloads these. EXE is a in the sandbox, and if you run it, it won't do anything. 